Hello, my name is Mark Donovan and welcome to another ClickSense video. In this video, we're going to continue with our tour of the ClickSense desktop. So let's get started. And we can see that when we make a selection, for example, we're selecting various months in our month filter, they turn green. We click on confirm that. So this is what's called the associative data model where any items that have been selected are in green. Any fields that are still possible to be selected would be in white and fields that are not possible to be selected are in grey as shown. So if we clicked on this X up here to clear the selection of the month you see all these fields go back to being white rather than grey. Next we'll go into the load script. First click on save. Save our changes. And then go to the data load e editor. You click on this option to open it in a new tab. Now we are in the data load editor. So we can see on the left hand side here we've got what are called sections. And this is how you split up your load script. The script that's used to load the data into your ClickSense application. So for example in the main section we've got all these set variables that we'll look at later which set things like the days of the week and other formats such as the money format and the date time format the date formats which are very important. Next we'll see this auto generated section which is what was created when we dragged our spreadsheet onto the ClickSense application. If you click on an X here you can delete or you can add more sections by clicking on the plus here and then name them Let's click remove that. So we click on the unlock button and we could add a name, for example, sales data. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you like these videos and would like to see more, please subscribe somewhere around here and like, give me a thumbs up and I'll make more.